In this problem, we have to solve this equation for x, and then we have to determine if it is an identity, a conditional equation, or an inconsistent equation. So to solve for x, we have to get rid of these fractions. You'll notice here there's an x minus 3, so it's beneficial to multiply both sides by x minus 3. But at the same time, you have an x plus 5, so you probably also want to multiply by x plus 5. So what we do is we multiply by the product. So I'm going to go ahead and put the x minus 3 here and the x plus 5 here. And it's super important to realize that this whole left-hand side is in parentheses. And then what you do to one side, you do to the other side. So x minus 3, x plus 5. Now let's go ahead and distribute. So we're going to take this and multiply it by each of these terms. I'm going to go ahead and show all the steps too. So it'll be x minus 3, x plus 5 times and then 9 over x minus 3. We keep the plus sign. Then we do it again, x minus 3, x plus 5 times this second piece here. So x minus 3, x plus 5 times this whole second piece. Okay, so 2 over x plus 5. Good stuff. Now you can skip this step, but I just wanted to show it because uh, most of the time, people skip it. And then look, these cancel. Boom, 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 boom. We're just left with 28. Good stuff. Now we do get some cancellation on the left here. The x minus 3s go away. And then over here, the x plus 5s go away. So we're left with, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the 9 first. So 9x plus 5 plus, and then 2 times x minus 3 and that's equal to 28. All right, now let's go ahead and distribute stuff. So 9 times x is going to give us 9x. And then 9 times 5 will give us uh, 45. Plus, and then 2 times x will give us 2x. And then 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And this is equal to 28. All right, so now uh, we can combine like terms. So 9x plus 2x is 11x, 45 minus 6 is 39, and that's equal to 28. Then we can subtract 39 from both sides. So we end up with 11x equals negative 11, right? 28 minus 39 is negative 11. And then x is being multiplied by 11, so to solve for x, we'll just divide by 11. So divide by 11 divide by 11, boom, there it is. We get x equals negative one, good stuff. And that's the answer, and you know, you should always check these problems. You, you take this number and then just like do a mental check. You know, can you plug it back in? Yes, yes you can. So like if you had gotten an answer like three, that would be a problem because three minus three is zero and you can't have zero on the bottom. Or if you would have gotten an answer like negative five, that would be a problem, right? Because um, you can't plug in negative five. But we didn't, right? We got an answer of negative one, so that is the solution. As to the second part of the question, this would be what's called a conditional equation. A conditional equation is one uh, which is true uh, for at least some values of x, but not all. So like whenever you have like one or two or three answers, uh, it's conditional. If you have infinitely many solutions, like if it's always true, like if you get something like this, then it's called an identity. And if you get something silly that has no solution, like three equals one, that's called an inconsistent equation. So inconsistent, really bad uh, handwriting. <laughs> I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.